easy i would have been a musician that's it i would have been a guitar player not a musician i would have been a guitar player pretty like to spend the day with norman foster um uh, and wood tipri from cool camel law to walk uh down oxford street or or and actually walk all the way down to totten totten court road and then walk past that into a little small little lane called denmark street where all the musicians are and you basically can sit down on the on the street and have a cup of coffee and what not um and i want to talk about anything but talk it actually i just want to talk about life is enough to be read about them as architects first project was a sound studio called butter in uh, delhi best friend was a sound engineer and he only trusted me to do that my first project it was orange and blue in color actually i i think i enjoy i enjoy every part of it from conception to completion and beyond um but yeah i think what gives me the biggest kick is sort of exploring new territories uh be it personal uh sort of explorations into uh, uh into things or just a purely architectural indulgence uh, or research uh, into into an aspect of a project yeah uh, i i think that any 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 part of a project that requires a lot of intensity gives me a high i think that's that's what i like and that that's what that's what i enjoy the most the greatest demand i've ever received which has got uh, is a demand i've received twice and i received it from two different clients very early on in my career and it was both times a bathtub for three i think the discovery center was memorable because you know we were so young when we were doing it uh, i was all of 30 years old six person studio doing a project of that scale with with what were and still remain very very ambitious demands of a project technically as well as creatively seeing the bigger challenge was for us if we could live up to it so sort of commissions we get all of them are challenging i think the next each one of them was challenging the the india pavilion was challenging because they had to do it in such little time a 16000 square feet designed and delivered in 22 odd days uh, the oberoi new delhi to do all the suites in 6 months from design to completion within a very you know within a very very stringent budget uh that to the overall grand calcutta like how do you touch how do you how do you get yourself to touch a 200 200 year old masterpiece of a hotel and walk out without any injuries you know to your ego and to your uh, to your self respect i guess well not self respect your ego it it just i think it's often architecture is about or design is about how how much you choose to commit uh, on a project and how much you have to do to actually pull it off successfully i like paris and i like the city of london and then purely for the you know uh, the square mile where i can just go sit and uh, soak it all in like i it's it's almost like a pilgrimage for me every few years that i have to go there and just sit and do nothing i would like to design a house for frank zappa if he was still alive it's a heavily indian influenced british high tech i think mana ranakpur as a 28 year old architect in the sun and seeing a project under construction 
uh, from foundation to finish religiously week on week month on month uh, it has to be run up like yeah it was really cutting it's it's the it's the place where i cut my teeth so yeah i love it i still remember every moment i think the problem with the design and architecture milieu in india is that people who don't agree with each other don't talk enough it's important to disagree it's important to debate it's important to be critical about anything and everything and that's something that does not happen i think there's too much patting each other on the back and too much bon homie uh that's very superficial i think it start getting deeper because not going there is really really dropping the bar for everybody it's the most important thing ever if you in the only time industry can start at supporting design and uh and grow is if you start doing things here most important step uh that we need to take now is to focus on things that are made here i modernism inspires me russian constructivism inspires me a lot um as the gothic architect for the rich sense of design is not to overload things so um the perception of architecture and design is actually diametrically opposite the hate about social media it is too much of it everywhere and is too shallow what i like about social media is that uh, it's enabled a, so it's it's a sort of almost democratic platform for outreach so be it youtube or instagram or facebook uh, or any other i guess there are quite a few to have yourself or your work be seen and to have yourself be heard the water out of a building how to keep the heat out of a building in india and how to work with space recently it was the louvre at abu dhabi it was a, it's a jean nouvel project and i think it's in buildings i've seen in a long time um, and i think the just the way the water Uh, the sea, the how, just the way the sea sort of comes into the building, uh, into the into the large plaza, the large court in the building, is is absolutely stunning. Of course, the Sanjay Pompidou that will remain forever. Guilty pleasure in listening to the Spice Girls. I could dance. It's a very democratic platform. That's what I like about it. So uh, we get to see anything and everything when we go there. So it's a fairly equitable platform as such. And I think what you guys have managed to do in the last few months with uh, conversations and engagement across the board. Uh, it's a fairly extensive platform so that's what i like about it